On today's episode, Dow and X Energy to install industrial nuclear plant. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. When the world's first purely commercial nuclear power plant went online at Shippingport, Pennsylvania in 1957, it was hailed as the beginning of a new age of low-cost power production. Electricity was predicted to become too cheap to meter, and although reactor technology improved for subsequent reactor generations, the cost of nuclear energy has been similar to fossil fuel generation, although nuclear advocates claim that the unusually high regulatory burden in the U.S. artificially boosts those prices. Nuclear plants traditionally have been large-scale projects, commonly taking over a decade to build in America, although the Japanese have built plants in three to four years from the first concrete pour to grid connection. New so-called fourth-generation small reactors promise to eliminate this bottleneck by creating mass-producible, truck-transportable small reactor units that don't require site-by-site -site safety certification and can be easily removed for refurbishment or decommissioning. Now, replacement of existing nuclear and fossil fuel generation with SMRs is a logical development, but an underreported use case for the small reactors is outside of the grid. Now, chemical industry giant Dow and Rockville, Maryland-based X Energy have announced that a small modular reactor will be installed at a Dow Gulf Coast production facility under the U.S. Department of Energy's Advanced Reactor Demonstration Program. A $50 million joint development agreement will result in the installation of an X-Energy XE100 high-temperature gas-cooled reactor to produce both electric power and process heat for steam. Costs will be split between the Department of Energy's ARDP and Dow. This engineering project will include the preparation and submission of a construction permit application to the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Now, the XE100 reactor design is significantly different from current large-scale commercial reactor technology. It's built around a core structure containing 220,000 graphite pebbles with TRISO fuel. TRISO is an acronym for Tristructural Isotropic Particle Fuel, consisting of a core of uranium, which is encapsulated in three layers of carbon and ceramic-based materials. The reactor is cooled with helium gas operating at 750 C and 6 megapascals of pressure. The helium is looped through a heat exchanger to produce 565 C steam at 16.5 megapascals of pressure to drive turbines or for process heat. Now, in the X Energy application, the fuel is fabricated into billiard ball sized spheres with the interstitial spaces between the spheres, allowing helium gas to flow. Treeso fuel is noteworthy because it allows intrinsically safe reactor designs, greatly simplifying reactor engineering and maintenance, both of which are key to small reactor economic viability. Treeso fuel can also be U.S. sourced, typically from BWX Technologies, who operate a licensed production facility in Lynchburg, Virginia. If successful, the project may have a significant and twofold effect, the rapid decarbonization of many process industries and a rethink of the geography of industry. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, access to low-cost power has been essential when locating industrial enterprise. Transportation links to bring in raw materials and take-out products have always been essential, but some industries, such as electrolytic metals processing and electric arc steel mills, for example, require the availability of lots of low-cost electric power. If heavy industry can cost-effectively generate their own power and enjoy the benefits of process and space heat as a side benefit, then industrial plants may be located closer to inputs, markets, or both. In an age when demand for a grid power for electric vehicle charging is predicted to explode, on-site power generation using small modular reactors can buffer industrial users from price spikes. And excess power may be sellable to utilities to defray costs at non-peak periods. Self-powered carbon-neutral factories. The Dow X Energy experiment may foreshadow a significant shift in 21st century industry. Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future and Designing the Future, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.